Alright everybody, I've been away for a few weeks, had technical difficulties, had a lot of other stuff go on, but I'm back to doing regular content, sorry for the inconvenience. Now today's video is going to be E3 predictions, I want to get them out of the way now because I feel like we will get leaks, and I don't want those leaks to interfere with the video itself, so I'm doing them today. But first up, hit like and subscribe, helps out the channel a lot. So what's going to happen at A3? We don't know much. We don't know much of anything at the moment, to be honest. I mean, to be realistic, we're going to see Sea of Thieves, Crackdown 3, State of Decay, and more than likely Forza at this point. So, predictions. Splinter Cell, shown off on the Xbox stage. It will be... Playing on the Scorpio and they won't tell anyone about it until after the conference. Next up, Assassin's Creed Origins. Now, I've been thinking that this game will show up on the Xbox stage rather than the Ubisoft stage because Assassin's Creed in the past has, has had the tendency to be shown off on a different stage before, so I think that's not really a non-issue. Uh, and this is, this game's going to be huge. We haven't had an Assassin's Creed game in two years. Like, it's been a while. And when it comes to more third-party stuff, there's been rumours of Microsoft partnering up with another AAA game maker to market the game. And I've been going through a bunch of different developers and publishers. And one of the games I keep coming up with is the next Batman game. But for some reason, I think it's been marketed with PlayStation. But I honestly think that the game that they're talking about, that these rumors are talking about, is Cyberpunk 2077. It makes all kinds of sense if you think about it. Mark. Witcher 3 marketed with Xbox, Witcher 2 was Xbox 360, console exclusive. We have Gwent, which I think Xbox got the, the beta first. So it's kind of plausible, and you know, Microsoft needs to get more first, well, more single player focused games associated with their platform. And considering how good The Witcher 3 is, I think this would be a perfect candidate for that because if you've played The Witcher 3 it was very good. Next up an indie reel showcase about two to three minutes long and they'll probably show off one or two games in particular that they think you know are standouts because I think last year was We Happy Few you know so I think they'll do a similar thing this year they just can't spend too much time on it but Last year, they were the only ones that did the indie showcase, so... You know, highlighting all these smaller develop developers on the big stage is good for them. I think we will get a Cuphead release date. The release date being E3 itself. And there's a lot of people waiting for that game. It looks really good, you know. Uh, below, maybe we'll hear something, but... They pretty much went quiet, so hopefully this A3 is the one. Now I think we'll get some PC focused games announced date for Xbox in game preview, like DZ and that Player Unknown Battlegrounds. That game's blown up at the minute; it's bloody huge on PC. So I think that'll actually be a thing on console this year. Now, last E3, Microsoft technically announced two, two consoles. One of them being the Xbox One S. I think they'll announce a price reduction in the Xbox One S to $250. And that would be a really good, you know, entry console to the platform for a lot of new gamers because, you know, a lot of new gamers are coming over to the platform with you know, very few games have been released on the Xbox 360, so I think a cheaper Xbox One S will get people in the door. 
I think they'll also announce a bunch of new BC games. Like, despite what people say, people use BC. It's a very popular thing. And Black Ops 2 recently was an April's NPD. Like, really think about that. Black Ops 2 did better than, let's say, Horizon Zero Dawn. Not saying anything bad about that game, just saying, like, it was actually ahead. Like, I'm even surprised it was even in the top 40. But, people like the BC games, you know, there's a lot of big games that aren't BC yet, like Splinter Cell Blacklist. You know, people want Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. There's a lot of games, really. You know, I'm looking at all all my 360 games, and you know, there's games like Portal 2, stuff like that. Uh, so I think there'll be a big list of them. I think they'll announce some new accessories, like maybe an Elite headset, maybe. But I'm thinking maybe a new chat headset, maybe a new controller. And I know people are going to say, "Oh, we need more controllers," whatever. People like buying controllers, like, believe it or not, people do collect them. So I think they'll maybe announce one. Um, but let's talk about the juicy stuff. Sea of Thieves, I think you're going to get a release date of that being next year, Q1. I mean, I can't see that game doing well if it comes out this year. So give that time to, you know, let the developers make that game. Don't rush them. You know, we're gonna have Forza Motorsport 7 probably being shown off on Scorpio 4K60. State Decay 2. I think the way they demo that game, they'll probably have a bunch of other people on stage playing the game. And then we're probably gonna have Crackdown 3. Big showcase showing the multiplayer, showing every aspect of the game. And I think people really like it because, you know, that destruction, there's nothing like it. I think they'll actually show these games off on Scorpio. And maybe they'll do like a slide of across the screen as the game is being played to show you what it would look like on both systems. Because it, if you don't know this, Crackdown 3 actually features two cities. There's the one in the campaign, and then there's the one in the multiplayer which is fully destructible. So... The one in the campaign is like super detailed, it's like, it's like full on cyberpunk, which is bloody awesome. And I think we'll have one or two new IP showing off, and one of them being released early next year. Because we know nothing about 2019, sorry, 2018 games. We know nothing, literally nothing. So I think we'll get them announced. And then finally we have VR. I think they'll just announce that it's going to work with Scorpio, the price of it, and it's going to be $399, and it comes with two controllers, I think that will work with Scorpio straight out of the box. I think they'll actually have a highlight reel of VR games that will work on Scorpio. You can't demo that stuff on stage, people don't have time for that. And finally, Scorpio. They'll show Scorpio. The same way they showed off the Xbox One S. A hundred second long little trailer, sleek, edited, basically tells you what the console does, what it'll be capable of, and we'll have a list of games that are getting upgrades this year. As in games that are already out like Gears, you know, Days X, current games, and we'll get a price. And the price will be $450 and personally I still think $450 is a good price for what you're getting but anyway those are my predictions some are pretty realistic some mm, hard to tell at this point anyway if you enjoyed the video hit like and subscribe hit that bell for notifications I am out have a good day